What's going on people? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we just arrived in Brisbane. Tomorrow we're going to Bali. And it's time for me to bring you guys back on the road for another travel trading video. Taking you guys around Bali, showing you what it's really like traveling and trading on the road. Let's go to Bali. to Bali. Checked into the place. Absolutely a beautiful villa. I haven't even been around yet, so you guys are going to get a tour with me as well. We've got a nice little seating room area there. Let me, I've got to show you guys outside this pool. Mm, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful spot. Yeah, we've got a nice kitchen space here. This is going to be the training station. That's going to be the chill station. Look at this. We've got so much light up here, but look, let's go upstairs. I haven't even been around here at all yet, so we're exploring it for the first time together. So let's see what we got up here. There's a lots of Lots of doors and rooms and... Where's this going? Oh, okay. All right. These open. Oh, look at this. Nice balcony. Don't know if this is the main bedroom, second bedroom. Got the bathroom behind there. Oh, look at that nice bath as well. And then I think here is second bedroom. Oh, look at this. It's also beautiful. It's going to have to be the main bedroom. Look at this. We've got the bed there. It's like the bathroom's like behind it as well, which is pretty cool. And then we've got this really nice outdoor balcony space straight down onto the pool there's also more i didn't actually know there was another upstairs but here we are oh, bali it's hot 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 but it feels good to be in bali it's my first time in bali i'm excited to explore go around oh wow look at this what an incredible spot we got around here nothing beautiful i didn't even know we had this roof terrace but we have the roof terrace as well welcome to bali first things first though Today is Monday, and obviously trading is normal. Bali's a few hours behind Brisbane, so two hours behind Brisbane means our London session is gonna start at 2 p.m. So I'm gonna jump on the charts now, see what the markets are saying. You know, it's only Monday, there's no real news today, um, but this whole video, I'm just gonna bring you guys around a tour, day in the life, trading, traveling, get back to our roots, and show you guys what it's like. Maybe we make money in this trip, maybe we lose money who knows hopefully we make money but it's all part of the fun man i think first things first i think we have to go jump in this pool because it's looking so appetizing it's incredibly hot let's get on with the trip show you guys if we take any trades in this london session i'll stream it with the guys and hopefully we make money pick it back up guys i have actually just taken a short trade on gold a half risk due to the fact that it's only monday but one of the guys in the community just spotted a perfect double bottom on gold which at a very big level of hourly resistance we want to be shorting into that. So I'm currently running up like $200 on this position. Like I say, it's only half risk. I have no real expectations. There's no news. There's very little volume today. So we'll see how it goes, whether it makes money or whether it loses money. I will update you guys with the position. Now I have just ordered some food off Gojek and I have some creamy garlic and chicken, Coke Zero, water. We're going to dig in. I just had a nice little dip in the pool as well. Absolutely beautiful spot. The villa is incredible. If you guys want to know the name of the villa, oh, maybe I'll leave it below. You guys can go check it out. We're going to dig in. It's only 2 p.m. here. So I've actually got plenty of time for the day. And so maybe we're going to go eat this, explore a little bit of barley and see what the day brings and see what this trade does. If it makes money, amazing. If it doesn't, so be it. All right, guys. So we're currently sitting up $370 on this position. Now the five minute is kind of messing around a lot here. This whole trade is basically based off this 30 minute coming back down, grab previous 30 lows and, and retest a lot of this broken resistance. But more importantly, come and grab this double bottom down here. I usually trade 10 contracts. I'm only in this seven. But you know, if we get a nice bearish close here, I'm going to hold. But if we start to continue to mess around, I'm going to consider going break even and just taking off a little bit very, very soon. Like I say, I'm only in seven contracts. The risk is now just above these highs here, which is a pretty small amount. I would like to hold this down, but I want to see if we're going to get volume. Currently sitting up like $300. Just gonna wait for this five minute close and sit through the pain of gold. But if we close below this previous five minute that closed bullish, fake out confirmed, we could drive this lower. So let's see if we're gonna get a, a successful start to Bali or not. So far, you know, running up $300, pushes it pushes. But if I show you guys the kind of main overall analysis here, I'm just looking on this 30 time frame on gold. I am expecting gold to kind of continue pushing up into like, you know, 1982-ish to create this big left shoulder head come back up that right shoulder before potentially dipping down. But more importantly, for this little scalp, I think we need to come and grab previous 30 minute lows first. So I'm shorting this key resistance here where price has reacted off it very well in the start. And as soon as we start grabbing these lows, that's there where I'm gonna take off some of my position. So five minute has just closed bearish, failed to close below previous. Right here, I am going to close two contracts and I'm gonna put the rest of break even now. So I just locked in, you know, $160 there. Nothing crazy, but the volume's low. And more importantly, I want risk off the table now. So 
If we can run, we'll run amazing. I'll take off a little bit more. It's a very small little scalp. Gold's in a bit of a range. We have no top wick on this current five. So, you know, if this is an instant bottom wick, we may retrace a little bit. So as soon as we come and grab these 30 minute lows, which is that level there, I am going to be taking off a little bit more weight at 470. Price is, price is stalling. You know what? I'm actually going to trail two contracts above current five minute high and readjust this if this five comes to create a new top wick i want to be out a little bit more which is looking like it's going to because we're in a very very tight range right now so i'm pretty much just playing the range trailed stops of two contracts just got hit there and now I'm, I'm leaving the rest of this three contract position at break even. If it runs, it runs. But you know, I've just locked in like $300, $260 after fees and commissions, you know, an hour into being here in Bali, we cannot complain. If this runs, it runs, but we're fully covered now. If it comes back to break even, I'll probably wait for more price action, more volume and, you know, jump on Zoom with the guys for the US session later on. But let's see if this can dip down a little bit more. Here. Now we've got that nice top wick on gold. So now I am going to bring risk above this current five high. If price comes now up to create a new high on this current five minute, I don't want to be in this trade so now the markets are allowing me to trail this position very well and that's how you guys need to be trading you get out when the markets tell you to get out you get in when the markets tell you to get in and you manage when the markets allow you to manage if price now comes up to create a new high then price potentially could flip bullish so do i want to see my position going from 320 dollars in profit to you know getting stopped at break even absolutely not i want to be able to react to the markets we're scalping here you know we're, we're, we're in and out within a couple of five minute candles. So management is key. I could lock this in and be up like $650 in the day, but we're not getting emotional. We don't trade the money, we trade the markets. I kind of do want to get out this position because I'm trying to go out and enjoy some sun and, and actually go explore some of Bali and go jump back in the pool. But the London levels is big enough that it was worthwhile for me to jump on and see if we can take this little trade in. We're just, like I say, locked in nice little $300 profit. Small position, but it's worth it. All right, amazing. There you go. You are now grabbing previous 30 minute lows. And you know what we're going to do? I'm actually just going to close full. Just close full there. Price has dipped down pretty nice, but you've come into my TP area. And this is a very small little scalp. So I scalped this down into previous 30 minute lows. And that's the job done. $686 on the day. 740, but minus fees and commissions. $686 on that very, very small little gold scalp into previous 30 minute lows. The whole reason for that trade was literally on gold. You have a very nice level of resistance. Scalp the resistance once the five minute flips bearish. TP at the next area and short into levels of liquidity. I could probably hold some runners down into, you know, this double bottom, which would be my overall target, but I'm in Bali and I want to go explore and enjoy my day. But yeah, that's $600 a day locked in. Let's go enjoy Bali. We need to explore Bali a little bit. We now have this pizza. I'm gonna be eating this, sitting up here in this rooftop, enjoying the sunset, and then we're gonna go live with the community for about two hours in the New York session. Day one into traveling and trading around Bali. Come back again next week because we're releasing day two where my girlfriend is gonna be joining me. We're gonna explore Bali even more and do even more cool shit and hopefully make some more money. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in. Remember, drop a little like, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.